What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kristen and today I am going to be doing the concert tag. I am obsessed with concerts. You have no idea. I was looking for something I could make a video on because there's just nothing happening in my bubble right now and I figured, hey, let's do a concert tag. I love concerts. I love to talk about all the concerts I've been to. So we'll go ahead and answer some questions and I'll put the questions that I'm asking down below and you guys can copy and paste or answer whichever questions you want and we can talk about it because I love concerts, <laughs> obviously. How many concerts have you been to? Um, I'm gonna say roughly 14. What was the best concert you've ever been to? Uh, that's actually a really hard one because I've been to a lot, but I think if I'm taking in the seating and the overall experience, Vegas, um, the Backstreet Boys Larger Than Life Residency in Vegas, best, best concert experience I've ever had in my life. I was right down front. I could see them. I could see everything. It was amazing. I loved it. What's the worst concert you've ever been to? Um, Tom Petty. I know, I know. Why would I even go see a Tom Petty show? Well, my mom's husband got us in, so. Some dude asked me if I had any pot. I don't smoke. We didn't even stay the whole time. No. Best opening act you've seen. Oh my gosh. Let's see, there, um, I saw Destiny's Child when they were opening for the Backstreet Boys. Um, Aaron Carter was super cute when he opened for the Backstreet Boys. Um, Bailey, Brian's son, he was really cute when he opened for the Backstreet Boys. <sighs> I would have to say Destiny's Child though. And it was like right when they were coming up, like obviously they were opening for the Backstreet Boys, so obviously they weren't huge stars yet, but they were like growing a following and everybody knew their songs already and everything. So it was actually a really good show. Furthest you've traveled for a concert? Uh, probably Vegas. It used to be, um, I think it was Michigan. My grandparents took me to see the Backstreet Boys on their black and blue tour, but um, yeah, it now it's Vegas because <laughs> my husband and I actually drove from Illinois to Vegas, or from Illinois to the Grand Canyon. He says Vegas, but from Illinois to the Grand Canyon in 24 hours, which is, that is something. Would I travel further? Uh, yeah, I honestly, Yes. How old were you when you went to your first concert and whose concert was it? I was seven. The tickets were a gift from my dad's mom and it was New Kids on the Block. Have you seen your favorite artist live? Yes. Uh, many times over actually. Are there any upcoming concerts that you're going to? Um, I don't think so. I don't have any planned, but I do know that the Backstreet Boys are going back out on tour um, for another U.S. leg of their DNA tour this year. So I might go to another concert of theirs. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I went last year and it was an amazing show and I loved every minute of it but I kind of want pit seats. Like once you sit in the pit, there's nothing else. Are there any concerts that you've regretted not going to? Um, yes, um, NKOTBSB, when New Kids on the Block and Backstreet Boys got together and did their own little group thing, amazing show, and I wish that I could have gone, but we didn't have the money to get tickets for that, so. Any life-changing moments at a concert? I don't think so. 
have you made friends through a concert experience? No. I've mainly been to Backstreet Boys concerts and <laughs> I'm very I'm very talkative and stuff with the fans around me. Obviously we're all there for for the boys and we love them and everything, but the Backstreet Boys universe is kind of like just filled with drama and crap like that and I just don't subscribe to that. Like I'm there for the music, I'm there for the boys. I don't need your opinions of their wives or what they're doing in their free time. I don't care. Have you met any online friends at a concert? I used to follow this girl who I met at a concert. I think the Nick Carter concert in Chicago. Don't remember her name, but there was like this app that Nick used to post on all the time and um, I was following him on there and he was following her so I followed her and I met her at the show and she was a really nice person but we other than like other than Nick and the Backstreet Boys we didn't have anything in common and Periscope it was Periscope does anybody else remember that it's kind of obsolete now I think do you go for the bargain seats or do you try to get as close to the stage as possible my very first pit experience was Nick Carter's tour in um, in Chicago for his most recent album and I got pit passes for that because I wanted to be down front and I wanted to get good pictures so I got the passes and everything I don't I don't I'm not gonna say that I'll never sit anywhere else because for the DNA tour I didn't have pit passes but I there's no seat that compares to that like I will pay the extra money to get into the pit from now on like I it doesn't matter how good the seats are unless they're in the pit where I can reach out and and touch a Backstreet Boy I have zero interest <laughs> in that seat so I definitely will spend the extra money to get the good seats that being said if there aren't any seats available in the pit which happened last time um I I'll take what I can get the only thing I won't do is nosebleed because I feel like those just aren't worth it you're not gonna get pictures and you're not gonna be able to see them they can't see you it's just not worth it. Why pay $150 to be all the way up in the nosebleed section and have to watch the entire thing on a monitor? Like, you could just wait because chances are somebody's putting that sh on YouTube. Do you buy merch at the venue? Are you kidding me? Like, have you met me? Three hoodies, umpteen t-shirts, um... And this last time I bought a crossbody bag that turned out to be great for Disney. Fantastic. Have you been noticed by an artist at a concert? No, not that I'm aware of. Like I want to say like they could see me and I'm sure they did, but I've never like, like been talked to at a concert like that or anything like that. Have you ever caught anything that the artist threw into the crowd? No. Have you attended any meet and greets? Did you get a picture? No. I have never attended a meet and greet, but with Nick's um, All American, I think that's right. With Nick's um, last tour, I his solo tour, I went to the House of Blues in Chicago and there was this deal where if you buy like a hundred dollars worth of merch you get a, a selfie with him so I wasn't gonna do it I was like I I don't think that I can do this like I had no idea what to say to him at all so my husband was like babe when are you gonna get another chance to do this, this is your dream like you've wanted to do this since you were like 13 just do it so I went ahead and did it. I got his um, album, which I already had. Then I got a hoodie and I got a t-shirt and that all added up to about a hundred and something dollars. And 
<laughs> oh my god. I met him and I didn't know what to say. I had no clue. I don't think I I said one word. I, I was so shocked. I couldn't even stand it. I know I didn't say anything to him. So if somebody by chance stumbles upon this and they know him, I'm sorry that I didn't talk to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so rude. Like, I get, I have no problem, like, saying things on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. I faced, like, Nick Carter, and I couldn't say shh to him. Not one word. Even now, like, I just get so excited thinking about it. Like, he stood there next to me, he touched me, he took a picture with me. I died a little, it was amazing, I loved it. I didn't say anything. Not a single damn word. Those are the questions on this uh, concert tag. Go ahead and answer the questions in the comments and we can talk about your concert experiences. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.